there's a turkey named Jake. Yeah. It was bad. Oh, was we saw free birds. Name. Yeah. We, uh... We saw free birds. They didn't play free bird. No. Which is something you hear every open mic night. Play free bird! Free bird! Free bird! It was bad, you guys. Take everything we said about Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2 and apply what we said on why it was good and just reverse it because they didn't do any of that good stuff. <laughs> Where should we start? So much. Fuck, why don't we just start at the beginning? Alright. Why don't we try that? Alright. got a problem with this movie. And my motherfucking problem. problem is... I got several. The opening shot of the movie is a disclaimer. Okay? The, disc the disclaimer reads something along the lines of this is a work of fiction. They were not trying to depict actual depict events. actual historical events. Like this is just a story, and then at the end it says, "But the talking turkeys, those are real." Except for the talking turkeys, that actually happened. That actually happened. It's George Takei. It's George Takei. He's the time machine. He's he's the flight of the navigator portion of this movie. Yeah. But you have the same steps too. Flight of the navigator. Hi, Davy. That was a good movie. Yeah. So, uh, so there's that disclaimer right at the motherfucking beginning of the movie, right? And Jay goes, Why are you putting a disclaimer like that? Like, I fucking know that this is not based on actual historical events. Well, Thanksgiving events. actually happened, so right there. Yeah, Thanksgiving fucking happened, but they didn't have turkeys at the first Thanksgiving. This is common known knowledge. Why they decided to take this route is beyond me. But they went for it. Alright, fine. But the final product, while visually, really kind of cool. I'm Except not going to lie. Except for the lie. 3D. They punked out on the 3D. There's maybe three moments where you actually get the 3D at you. I'm sorry, i got to talk about the 3D because this pisses me you, off. Are you, t are you shitting? Like, you're one of those people who want the shit at the screen? No, no, because no, that pisses time, me but off. Like, okay, all it was was just perception and then there were a couple times you had all of this time travel swirlies you had um, lightning electricity you have the moment with like the feathers that are flying up and doing fucking colors of the wind none of that comes at you it's all away from you and I'm just saying if you are going to put something in 3d and you have moments like that where you can really utilize they have it going away and it's like oh well a remote and something flies at you and when one of the fucking birds is screaming it's like slightly projected out and that is the most they made to utilize the 3D in this movie. Oh, if that's what you mean, then yes. Yes. They they did, in, in that regards, they did punk out on the 3D. What did yeah, you think they, I meant? I don't fucking know what you meant. Well, then shut up so you know what I mean. I have a present for you. I don't do... I made you a hand turkey. It's Jake the hand turkey. Because <laughs> there's a turkey named Jake in it. Yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to hear the end of that. And it's angry, like angry Jake. I don't know if you can see, because there's, there, there's a light. It is indeed angry. And it's angry. I can't move it close, because there's not a light in the camera. Hand turkey. Smack. No, no smacking in my face. It's, it's hand turkey feathers. So no. It doesn't matter. Give it a high five. Slap hand. It's been time. Thank you for not ripping it up. I'm not going to rip it up. You can it rip up. it up if it'll be therapeutic. I give you permission. That's you can okay. rip up Turkey Jake. That's disrespectful. You made it for me. I keep it. Aww. So... So there's that, there's that motherfucking disclaimer, right, right out of the gate. And so we meet Reggie, Owen Wilson, he's on a, uh, he's, he's on a fucking farm, all right, a, a turkey farm. All the other turkeys around him are just fucking Dumb as shit. stupid, stupid, just stupid. <laughs> yeah, like that. Like all from the dodo bird, basically. The, yeah. From Looney Tunes, Tiny Tunes. Um, only not as entertaining no. as Dodo. You get a Robocop quote. Can, Can you man. fly, Bobby? Just some crazy turkey. Yeah. Robocop, Robocop quote. I don't know where. 
why not throw cloaked? That just made me like that took me off guard. I was just like, what? And so, uh, so he's on this farm, and all the other turkeys are really fucking stupid, and. He keeps, he's like Chicken Little, he keeps telling them, you know, they're, they're fat fattening us fat. up, they're going to eat us, blah, blah, blah. They don't fucking believe him till shit gets real and the president shows up on this random farm to pardon the fucking turkey. Wait, wait, wait. you forgot. They throw him out of the Hold coop. on, hold on, hold Sorry. on a second. Hold on a second. All right, so the lights of the helicopter, which we, which is the president's fucking show up, right? And he's inside of the, the coop. coop. And there's like this big ass pile of stupid turkeys, but they're a flock, so they're all laying on each other for fucking warmth. Besides Reggie, and nobody likes Reggie. All by myself. And so, like, their entire life revolves around corn. Okay, corn. Everything is fucking corn. It's a big fire corn. I found it corny the sun. how they kept referencing. You stop that. <laughs> and fucking um. Uh, so there's big fire corn, which is the sun. Everything re revolves around corn to these turkeys, all right? And so when the fucking lights show up, and there's a heap of turkeys, and there's motherfucking Reggie being like, hey, man, I told you so. They fucking, they Benedict Arnold him. They're like, you need to go. Like, they want you. You get, you get the fuck out of here. We don't like you anyways. And they actually call him the anti-corn. Like, they, <laughs> the they anti called him the anti-corn. Like Antichrist, only with corn. Fucking ha 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 ha! I get it. Are you was stupid? Fucking sh god damn it! That wasn't even the worst of it. No, that like, wasn't that was the worst of it. That's just the fucking yeah, beginning of that's it. Just that's just what they opened the shit with. Anti-corn. Well, this can only go fucking downhill from there, and it did. Because then we got this fucking Reggie gets pardoned by the president because his bratty ass little daughter really wanted Reggie. And so, bratty ass daughter picks up Reggie, like, hey, don't worry, Reggie, or don't worry, Turkey, you're with us. And, you know, he doesn't say anything, he's just kind of watching, you're hearing the humans talk. And, like, he's on this, he's, Narcoleptic he gets bullshit. up onto the fucking helicopter. And the little girl's talking to him, and then she just goes, I'm tired. Blah! Just blah! Just out. Out she does like it a like motherfucking six light. Times throughout and the then movie. when she does that, that's your cue that, oh, okay, the fucking turkey's gonna start talking now because the humans can't actually understand turkeys. Apparently, turkeys can talk when they gobble. Blah! <laughs> uh, yeah, what? Uh. So. Can I, can I say something real quick? seething I can see all right with the way the people were portrayed in this movie like not even going to the old settlers when they're in oldie time the daughter is just this stupid moronic narcoleptic like nonsensical like they didn't even try to give character and the thing I don't get the president is like Bill Clinton. He sounds like Bill Clinton. He doesn't have the pepper gray or whatever, but I'm just like, what are they trying to say? I mean, this is a movie that, you know, the kids are going to see. Usually in movies like this, the president is portrayed in somewhat of a light of what the actual president is. So the fact they made him like Bill Clinton, I'm just like... Slick Willie is blacker than our current president, all right? Slick Willie is the man is slick if it was possible for bill clinton to run again i would vote for that oh, motherfucker in a heartbeat so i got no problem saying, i got no a... problem with slick willie showing up to pardon the turkey i get what you're saying it's supposed Thank to be a little bit culturally relevant he's supposed to be black it's a little bit racialist i'm gonna go ahead and say that racialist you're racist racialist no they're being racist because they want the movie to stand time so we're gonna make it a white president because we don't like the president that's all I'm saying. I think you read a little bit too much into that one. No, there's symbolism. No, there, the no. Movie. I'm pretty sure you found a racist thing when there wasn't supposed to be one. I just don't understand why they had. Are, are, to you, make t the are you completely that. taking over Irving's spot? Like, do I need to start watching the racist shit coming from you now? We got a call with Brian, reactions. and he got me a good price. <laughs> Sorry for Brian. No, the other Brian. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Continue. 
Um, I'll just be quiet and listen to your rant then. I'm not allowed to say anything. I made you a turkey. Really? I work so hard. You understand on. that guilt tripping doesn't work on me, right? I'm not trying to trip you. If you should fall upon your own, that's that's up to you. Alright, so the fucking turkey gets pardoned, right? And he's up with this fucking, uh, this spastic ass little fucking girl who keeps falling asleep. That's your cue. Fucking Owen Wilson's gonna start talking now. <sighs> He gets sent to the White House, I guess. Or no, 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 no. Like it wasn't. Pet. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't the White House. I'm sorry. They went to Camp David. Yeah. That was my fault. They went to Camp David, and so uh, they're at Camp David, and um, like he's living in the house. He's living in this life of luxury. He's getting pizza delivered to him, which you know I'm pretty sure Camp Motherfucking David does not allow pizza delivery drivers to go up to where the fucking president of the United States is currently living and deliver a fucking pizza. All right, I mean, I have technically delivered a pizza to the current president of the United States. This is but true. He's at a hotel. I delivered a pizza to him when he was in a hotel here in Springfield at the Crown Plaza when he first ran for uh, office. When he was still a senator, he was. He was about to make his announcement. He ordered from Pizza Hut where I was working at. I was the driver. I went up to the door. I knocked on it. Secret service. All that good shit. Um, get a good tip. I got a $20 tip. Motherfucker bought my vote just like that. Go President Obama. <laughs> Eight more years. However many fucking you got. Keep going, buddy. 20 bucks in my pocket. Appreciate it. So, um... So there's that. The, the pizza thing comes in throughout the throughout entire movie. the whole movie. Uh, there are going to be kids that are like, no, mommy, I want pizza on Thanksgiving now, because that's, I'm going to jump ahead. Because uh, I know we'll come around here. They have pizza on Thanksgiving in, instead. And I don't know, like, between Cloudy 2, which it wasn't as in your face, and this, it just seems like kids, if they're actually that into these movies, which I think it's just silly pandering on this one, it's like they're not going to want to eat turkey on Thanksgiving the way they portray all this. Yeah. It makes it seem like it's really wrong. Uh, it's... Anytime there's... There's an animated movie... I gotta, I gotta, I gotta phrase this kind of correctly. It's going to kind of come out awkward. Uh, but... A lot of times when there's animated movies that involve animals and humans and I don't want to say any uh, anytime there's really a movie that involves humans and animals in the sense that humans are trying to hunt the animal or capture it to eat or to provide you know to be a hunter-gatherer, shoot the animal, eat the animal, whatever. The hunters in those movies are always either depicted or remembered as vile, vile, vile people. The most classic example is Bambi, when Num Nuts' dad gets shot by the hunter. Bambi. <laughs> when Bambi's I was dad. Say. I f Wasn't it when, his mom? When, no. It, no, no, no. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. It was his, it was his mommy. His mommy got shot. Mommy. Shoot a doe so the herd won't grow. You, Bambi. Um, so, like, when the hunter shoots Bambi, I don't. If memory serves me, I don't even think you see the no, hunter. No, I think it's like a shot. It's just bang! Something. And she's dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. Throughout history, people who have seen that movie when they were younger, they remember that scene and they remember the sadness that they feel. And I know a lot of people personally. I have met these. I've met people personally in my life who have an issue against hunting because of that. Because specifically of that movie, which um, is bullshit. As long as you eat it. If you're hunting just to kill, that's all. If you're hunting to kill, you're a dick. Yeah. All right? You're just an evil white dude. But 
If now who's bringing race into it? Who's I constantly make white? fun of the white people. <laughs> that is what I do. I don't like white people. I will say that in camera. Fucking honkies. Do you want some cheese with that wine? What? You're whining. You want some Anyways. Um. Bambi hunters. Yeah, Bambi fucking people. that. Alright. I, I grew up rural. All right, uh, on, on a farm. And when I was younger, I hunt. I hunted, excuse me. And for me, when I shot a cute, innocent little doe right there, right in between her fucking eyes. Wow! You. When I shot that doe, it was... Cool. I shot a doe. Skinned it cut it, field dressed it, threw it over my goddamn shoulder, hiked the fucking thing over my shoulder, walked back to the four-wheeler, so on and so forth, cut, process, uh, we sent the skin off, took what meat we have, and then we donate the rest, we donated the rest of the venison to a local food bank, which is what we did every time, you know, just take enough for you, donate the rest to people who can't eat. And I remember personally getting, just hated on, uh, throughout my school, because I grew up around fucking white people, the titled ass white people who didn't understand why I would shoot the cute, innocent little animal. You, you, you little doe, you don't want to shoot that in between the eyes. It's cute. We don't like shooting stuff that's cute. <laughs> and I would get that whiny kind of bullshit to me. So, when I back to my original point, when I see movies that start to evolve hunters and showing them as the villain which I understand but I don't particularly agree with how they're always depicted because they're always just evil bloodthirsty killing for the sake of killing and that kind of that puts a bad image of what it actually is into a younger generation it happens throughout all movies but I just don't fucking like seeing it, and they did it hardcore in this one. Like at the end, when the when the hunters are chasing the turkeys, the turkeys are in an underground den. I didn't fucking know that turkeys can build an elaborate underneath a tree den. Apparently, they could do that. Um, but when he's there's time travel in this movie. You have a problem with them living under a tree? <laughs> yeah, I do. As a matter of fact, I fucking do have a problem with them living underneath a tree. Um. But anyways, when they're chasing the last bit of the turkeys, they're like, you know, they're smoking them out, fire, just grabbing the motherfuckers when they're coming out. Smoked turkey. Oh. And, uh, and, you know, that entire scene when they're, you know, taking the turkeys by the necks and throwing them in the, in the cage, you know, it's, it's disturbing to say the least. There's another one where, uh, Jake, Woody Harrelson, he was a little kid in like a, uh, government? No, it was basically like the like a turkey farm. A turkey or farm. A turkey where they're mill. All in the cages. Know. Yeah, they're in like the cage. The they don't move. Inhumane things. Mm, makes that meat all nice and tender and delicious. This review got dark. Whatever. And graphic. Um. But yeah, every human that has to do with the anything with these turkeys being killed and eaten is just very shadowy, villainized, and yeah. I mean, like I said, I have personal issues with that. Um, not against animal rights. I don't want anybody to jump up my motherfucking ass with that. I love animals. I'm, I'm cool with them. Some of them just need to be shot and put on my plate. And I don't even think it's something as deep as, oh, well, that's how the animals would view the people. I think they're just doing that for the sake of they're doing empathy it. towards the the. Of, of course, characters. you know, there's, I mean, that's just, you know. That's what I'm saying, is like, they're doing it not to be like, oh, well, that's how they see them. I mean, there's right. a difference between raising awareness of a problem, like the inhumane treatment of animals in whatever capacity. There's, there's a way to inform, to educate, maybe teach a lesson. Um, and then they're like, you know... Honestly, the first thing that popped in my head was fucking Fern Gully. 
but like Fern Gully, where they were the the issue was the deforestation and you know pollution shit mm-hmm. like that. You know that's actually that's a good message because any way you look at it, deforestation. I understand it has to push paper products, but it's still it's not the right thing to do. There needs to be an alternative. I'm not going to get into that argument, but you know what I'm saying. You know, it's just morally, it's just kind of wrong. It, it was kind of weird because you had the villagers are literally starving to death. And yeah, so they're, they're fucking actively get, saying, like, we are starving to death. They we have are one guy going dropped dead. to die. Yeah. We are going to die if we don't get any food. And then the professional hunters that they hire, which, I'm sorry, faced with fucking starvation in a village, you goddamn right, I'm going to catch that tree on fire. I'm going to drown them out, I'm going to smoke them out, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get the turkeys out of there so I can grab their necks, chop their head off, and fucking eat. That's just, it's the cycle of life, alright? And so, like, yeah, like you said, the villagers are saying, we're fucking starving, we're hungry, we got this goddamn feast with the, with the natives, with the Native Americans, well, they didn't call them that. They called them Indians throughout the end. Yeah, yeah, all right. I was you're gonna, gonna say, fucking, what are you you're gonna, gonna do this? fucking, you're gonna fucking do this whole goddamn. Oh no, we gotta save the goddamn turkeys. Hunting is evil. Blah blah blah. But you're gonna have a motherfucking movie, all right, that depicts Native Americans, and you're gonna fucking keep calling them Indians, all right. Don't forget about the Native turkeys. How they were. The prepared. Native turkeys were. Native American turkeys. And, like, it, it didn't even start because the main, um, Amy Poehler's character, uh, Jenny. So it's like they don't have... It didn't start out with the stigma, and then all of a sudden the chief comes out, and then it oh, gets Oh, no, that very... stigma showed up right as soon as those turkeys showed up with her brother who was in the war paint the way that he was talking. It was fucking immediate. It immediate. wasn't as bad oh, until the... they... Da, 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 da. Let me say something. It wasn't as bad till they got in the cave with all of them, and then you had the chief See, and, like, the old I seer. disagree. The second they showed the brother with the war paint, I knew immediately what was going to happen. Oh, well, I knew, Which too. means as soon as they went to the den, we saw the, the elder. He was going to have some yeah. fucking weird thing on his head, like, a, like the native, uh, like a native headdress. And um, it was Lawrence Fishburne, I believe, who was doing the voice. Um... And they're going to speak in the stereotypical, I mean, not too bad, not me hunt them white man kind of speak, but yeah, there's a certain yeah. way that the Native Americans speak English, and they were they were doing that. All, all and, I was saying is it didn't start out that the majority of them were like that because you had characters like Amy Poehler's character that was just like the turkeys in, in the future. Like, she didn't talk like the rest of them there were like a couple so it was mixed and then you got in the tree and almost every one of them turned stereotypical that's well, all uh, i was saying well they were stereotyp i'm i'm disagreeing with you because they were all stereotypical the second you fucking saw them even her she had the necklace her feather her feathers across her chest were like black mm-hmm. like this like a and she was like gray all right, and when you think of an Indian princess, she which is blue, what she like, actually what's his face, Reggie. Her face was blue, but her feather pattern was like light gray, mm-hmm. with the black like this. All right, and when you think of Indian princess, you think of like the the light tan. Mm-hmm. What the fuck are those things called? Ah, yes. uh, it's it's something somebody will yeah. comment on it. Correct me then. But when you think of like a, a an Indian princess, and it's fucking racist as shit me saying that. But when you think of that, there's like a certain look with the feather in the head that you think of, like Pocahontas and whatnot, and who have you. And she looked exactly like that. She just did. The second I saw, I was like, fucking. There's the Indian princess. There's the overprotective, uh, fucking okay. stereotypical. Uh, rising through the ranks of man, you know, young no, chieftain, and then you got the fucking, you got the chief, and then you got the shaman, the the elder that's always depicted as fucking woo crazy, which is no different than this one. He's just an old senile turkey who has a son that is a chicken turkey because he had to marry a chicken. Because he married a chicken. I don't so understand what the turkey. whatever the hell that is, but all right. So there's a chicken turkey. Well, at the end, the the stinger, they come back uh, through time, and and Jake's got the a duck, 
and a chicken. He's like, who you guys heard about this thing? It's a turducken. And I had to tell Jake what it is. I'm like, no, like, okay, that's clearly there for the parents, but I don't know any parents that are going to get that unless they're foodies. I don't know if there's a whole lot of people that know what tur turducken is. And basically, it's a chicken that's stuffed in a duck that's stuffed in a turkey. And it's all boneless. And then it's cooked. And that is your turducken. Motherfuckers will just put anything. Just, I want see, I say you wrap it in bacon. <laughs> Let's go one further. Why not? Why don't we just fucking eat a big old pile of heart attack stew? <laughs> Have you seen Tumblr? Oh no, you stay away from social media. I don't Dear do God, social. Shit that's I on am there. not on Facebook. I am not on. You're not anywhere. Twitter. Anymore. I'm not on Tumblr. I'm not on. I'm not on any of that shit. I don't do any of that. I don't care there about social disgusting media. Disgusting food items that people take pictures of. That I, it's I, like, I, I love. I love. God. I love all my fans, but you motherfuckers don't need to know what the fuck I'm doing every goddamn second of my motherfucking life. You just fucking don't. Oh, I tweet about you all the time. Like, you can Jake tweet about me. Motherfuckers have I'm tweeted joking. about me before. I don't care about that. It's just I will not sit there on my goddamn phone and be like, "Hey, man, I had a great turkey sandwich." Sin. Have some other motherfucker that. be like, yo, man, that was, I'm glad you wasted five seconds out of my motherfucking day to tell me about your goddamn turkey sandwich, I, Jake. I do. Thank you so much. And even the funny things, yeah, they're funny occasionally, but it just fucking gets tiresome. I just don't like... I have nothing against social media. I think it's actually quite wonderful that you have an opportunity to speak to all kinds of different people all over the world, internet, we, fun, great. I just don't give a fuck. Like, my life isn't so goddamn great that I feel that other motherfuckers need to know what's happening in it or what's going on in my fucking head. Yeah, sometimes I got some really awesome, hilarious shit going in my head. Sometimes I don't. But it's fucking mine. I don't need to tweet, like, hey, I thought of this great idea, Sin. Other people are going to be like, oh, yeah, that was funny. What's going on over here? You know, it's just, I, I don't care. So you're not going to see me, you, you don't see me comment. You only see me on these videos. I don't do social media. I, I, I just don't. It's nothing personal against it. I just don't like it. What? <laughs> nothing. I tweet and Terry movies. Every, uh, I got nothing against people who tweet. <laughs> Everyone I fucking know tweets <laughs> and does all that shit. I don't care. Enjoy. Have fun. Okay, that makes you happy. Great. Back to the movie. Now, fuck that movie. I don't okay. even want to fucking talk about that movie. Fuck that goddamn uh, turkey some goddamn Cliff time. Notes. Yes, Cliff Notes. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, I'm not still, <laughs> I'm still pissed off about this movie. Do you need to DuckTales? No, I don't fucking want DuckTales. Turducken Tales? Shut up. Oh, God, stop. Fucking turduck. Stupid. Turducken. It's turkey chicken. <laughs> yes, I know what it is. It's a turkey and a fucking duck and a fucking chicken. And no, it's a chicken inside of duck inside a turkey. Whatever the fuck it is, I know what it is now. It's gross. It's fucking gross is what it is. Joe. I've never had it, nor do I wish to try it. The concept is fucking stupid. The concept is just fucking stupid. I'm not disagreeing. I was just being informative. We teach. So do you want to Cliff's Notes this up? What's there to fucking Cliff Note? This movie is stupid. The concept alone is fucking George retarded. George Takei is... is George deep. Takei is doing right. George Takei. We have Takei. Jake and then we have Steve. So it's Jake and then you are Steve in Game Boy. So it's double Jake attack in this movie. The Steve was better in Cloudy Chance of Meatballs though. Yeah. Love. Who's problem? See, they're mad about the movie too. The geese are all like, oh shit. Um, but yeah, it's it's bad. It's just I don't even know how to explain it. Like I said, everything we said in Cloudy and Chance of Meatballs on how it's smart, the way it's put together. I mean, I I don't think I chuckled once in this entire movie. The best fucking like... joke in the entire movie is one that was already spoiled in the trailer, and that's the dudes in the yellow suit when the turkeys oh. first break in. Like, we're like, how should we address this, or with cranberry sauce? Ha 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 ha. Like, that scene, that entire scene that you've seen in the previews, like, that's, that's, that's the highlight of the humor in this. And, like, when I first saw that, 
in the uh, as a te teaser, I, I chuckled. I'm not gonna laugh. It was kind of funny, but that's it. That's it. So if you've seen that part, you've seen the highlight in the entire motherfucking movie. Is that one little joke, which is it's all right. And basically, this movie was, hey, Thanksgiving's coming up. We need to do a kids' movie. What should we do? Something with turkeys. Well, what should we have the turkeys do? I don't know. Let's do Thanksgiving. But the turkeys uh, want to do an uprising, and it's the whole animals against people thing. But the thing is, it's like, you know, they end up bringing pizza at the end, and then there's like a bunch of stupid bullshit they do with that, like some dudes wearing pizzas, a loincloth, and then, Mr. Anchovy, you spilled your small fish all over my pizza. Tastes like dirty socks, but it's better than my wife's cooking. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's how we laugh. And, uh. He, he didn't actually do that laugh. He did in this theater. <laughs> He might as well have wow. with everything in this movie. Am I surrounded by just like the most racist motherfuckers on the planet? Oh, or do you, you or talk do you son, or or do, you son, do you sons of bitches just wait until I get into an enclosed area yes. and just start ripping off all the fucking racist shit you could possibly think of? Because you know it's going to irritate me slightly. Slightly. The concept of racism is hilarious to me. The idea of hating somebody based on a color of the I didn't skin say I hated is so them. fucking oh stupid God. that it makes me laugh. However, I'm already irritated by all the underhanded racist into undertones of this, and then you had to do the ho ho ho. My point is, they might as fucking well have with everything that was going on. But then you started yelling, calling me a racist. Because you're a racist. Uh -huh. You're racist. Yeah. Racist is shit. I think I race his cars. Drive real fast. So anywho, they have pizza for the first Thanksgiving and then there's like the bullshit ending over the credits where like turkeys change throughout history. Um, there's this big to-do with the great turkey that came to Jake when he was a child that ends up being Reggie and that whole thing which I saw as soon as they yeah did that. I was like, oh shit, it's gonna be him. And I don't know, every time they started saying, The Great Turkey, I just really wished I was watching Linus and the Great Pumpkin. And, and oh, like the the girl when she first picks up the, the turkey to pardon, it just reminded me of like, like Gobbles! And I just wanted to watch Gobbles. And the, honestly, the enjoyable part of this movie, I kind of liked the TV show he was watching when he was held up in the thing because it reminded me of shit they show, show on C Lab where it's just like ridiculous soap opera and the way they did like the delivery commercial I just really expected him to be like Grizzle Bees delivers and that was the only remote entertaining part for me is because it reminded me of C Lab and that was it and when I say entertaining like out of not no entertainment that was the remote thing but yeah, so it was just, there was nothing to it. Like, there was no real You know what's happening, there's no fucking pacing, all the characters are kind of irritating. Everything is expected, everything goes on too long. I mean, you even have where, and turkeys actually do this, where they, you know, blow up and they have the, the dominance fight, so you've got the oldie time turkey from the past, and then Jake Turkey, and they're all like, it, it almost bordered on Steve Carell in the office, not in a funny way, but that whole, like, I want to be the boss thing, where, I don't know, I watched a lot of The a, Office recently. It was too alpha male type person. Yeah, and so they, they do the fight thing, that goes on forever. Like, any time there's physical shtick, like, even the fucking time travel when they first go, goes on so long, and it's just shots of the same stuff over and over again, like, reactions on the inside, swirly swirly, a uh, yellow jacket dude and the guy that was supposed to go back in the time whirling around the entire room, and I don't, I, it just, so long. And it just, it wasn't, I don't know. And from what I hear, it's got mixed reviews. Like, some critics are like, ooh, yay. Other critics are just like, meh. So. How can you fucking applaud this mm. stupid-ass movie? When I have to tell you a disclaimer right at the beginning. Yeah, we know this concept is stupid, but we made the movie anyways. They were Enjoy. doing that tongue-in-cheek. It's not like they actually thought they had I honestly think they the did. I honestly fucking think they did. Because they had to pass something along to those fucking execs. Be like, all right, we're going to have this Thanksgiving movie, right? You're going to be about some motherfucking turkeys just travel back in time. To, to, to stop turkeys being served on the first Thanksgiving. 
And you know the executive's so gotta be like, well that, even by our standards, sounds really fucking stupid. You should probably put a disclaimer on there, saying that you're just joking. That we know no, this they idea is joking fucking about stupid. the part. No, they said that the talking turkeys were real. So it's they just not fucking real that, because they don't talk to the humans. What, the humans only saying. hear the fucking gobbling. The turkeys don't actually fucking talk with the humans. They only talk with themselves. So which means anytime you hear the turkeys, all they're fucking doing is gobbling. Gobble, 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 fucking gobble. And to progress the storyline... They're allowed to talk English so we can fucking understand them. But the turkeys don't actually talk because any interaction that they have with the humans is always fucking gobbling. The turkeys don't actually talk. If the turkeys talk to the human beings, this movie would have been about five fucking minutes long. Because <coughs> it would have been Reggie going up and be like, hey man, we could talk. Don't eat us. The world as it's a like collective. Butlers. Holy shit, turkeys could talk. Maybe we shouldn't fucking eat them. In the movie. You don't have to travel back in time and fucking talk. But they don't because they gobble. But yeah, it's just kind of... I don't know. It, it gives you the impression that it's like, oh, okay, they're all going to eat pizza and these natives that have no other way. And by natives, I mean the Native Americans. They kept calling them natives. But like, and even the, the all the oldie time people in the 1600s because the turkey brings them pizza for the first Thanksgiving. It's like, that's nice. What are you going to do? Get pizza? Like, go back in time? Every what about the second pizza. Thanksgiving? The shit well, like, still hasn't food, been invented period. yet. Yeah, food period. And it's like, I, I don't know. It just kind of... To me, I have a feeling there's gonna be certain kids who maybe genuinely enjoy this movie and they're seriously gonna f not want to eat turkey because kids I don't give a things. shit what that little fucker wants or doesn't want. I want pizza at Thanksgiving. I want you to get a fucking job. How's that, you little shit? Get a fucking job, make some money, and then you can tell me what the fuck we're going to eat. Until then, sit the fuck down, have a goddamn turkey leg, shut up, eat it, and smile. You little ungrateful prick. Tell me you don't want fucking turkey at Thanksgiving. I don't give a shit, little brat. Then we have Miss Piggy on Christmas, because we have ham on Christmas, and every time I go to a Chinese buffet, I have Kermit, because you do frog's legs. You can't eat frog's legs without doing the Hello, my baby, hello, my baby, hello, my tongue gal. Well, we need to talk about the previews. <laughs> do we? Yeah. We got fucking nut job. Nut job. Oh, the squirrely thing. The squirrel thing. Stupid, stupid. Every day, every day? Just as stupid as this I'm one. I'm still not even Frozen. sure what it's about. It's like a nut heist. It's what it is. It's a... The Italian it? job with nuts, I guess. I don't fucking know. And then, um... The Frozen yeah, Frozen, again. which looks stupid. It was pretty much the same ones we got on, uh... Cloudy. I can't think of a different one we got. The Lego thing. Uh, no, we did get a different one. We got Mr. Peabody and, uh... Oh! Sher Sherman? And Sherman. And yeah, I, I had to lean over and ask him, like, wasn't it Sherman and Mr. Peabody? So they made the, the dog the star. I don't... Yes, I, I, I... Honestly, when I was younger, I, I could not stand Rocky I and want, Bullwinkle. Yeah. I fucking hated Rocky and Bullwinkle. I just did. I, I didn't I, like it at all. I didn't like that, and I didn't like Scooby-Doo, and I get crucified all the time for it. People get pissed. Scooby-Doo was alright to me, but it wasn't one of my favorites. But, yeah, it, it reminded me... There was a Family Guy episode, I don't know how long, but it's like, Stewie takes a girl and uses the, t or Brian takes a girl or something, I don't know, it's kind of most of that, basically, the kid takes a girl and they're fucking up history and then the dog's got to go with them to fix it, and, you know, basically every kid's movie, now they're doing time travel, which they did in this, in, in, I almost said flying turkeys, in Free Birds as well, it's all, you know, let's insert crazy shit and, you know, fuck up history and it'll be fun, but I don't know. It's just not. It's not so good. we got, um. Well, what do you think of the Lego one? They don't really say that much about it. I don't, I don't, I, they really don't. I don't. I don't really know what to think about it besides some Legos. And... What is it actually called? Is it called Lego? Uh. Lego the movie. Okay. Because, I mean, yeah, I, I like the little... Lego, my Lego. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. I thought you were going to get mad at me. Uh, I like the little Lego movie things they do. Not the independent ones, but the ones in, in the games and stuff. 
and this is, you know, this it looks like anyway the same type of stop motiony, unless they end up going completely what? You better turned off my car because it's not running. I think it did. Um, you can go check. Fucker D's up on gas. I'm gonna beat shit out of all three of them. Um. Uh, and so it's like Batman, Wonder Woman, like all of these people, and yeah. then just the the main character, some like gas guy or whatever, and he I don't I'm not even sure what goes on, but it's, yeah, it's there's Legos. that, and then there's Peabody and Sherman, right? And that was it. And Frozen, and that's yeah, that's it. You didn't get too many previews. No, I got those. So that was it. I mean, if you really gotta go, take your kids to a Thanksgiving movie. I wouldn't do this one if you like it. Whatever floats your bubble. Just um, don't fucking watch it. How's that? Mm -hmm. Just don't fucking watch it. This movie is a waste of goddamn time. Just don't fucking watch it. This is not recommended. This movie was really fucking stupid. Everything about this movie was fucking stupid. Everything. All the jokes, all the timing, everything about it. You get bored halfway through. I wanted to I leave. I got bored before halfway through. I, it's, everything, it's just, the concept alone is just so fucking stupid that it, it's just hard to get behind. It's just really hard to get behind, and then they don't even execute it well, so. And I love kids' movies. It's it's not a factor, because I know some people are probably like, well, it's made for kids. It's not made for you guys, but. I've made this argument time in and time out. It's just for kids. It's to entertain them for a little bit. I understand that. But that doesn't mean that you have to give the children second-rate entertainment. They solely rely... There's very good children's movies. There's very good television children's television shows that you can allow your children to, child to watch and to learn something. But if you want to put on a fucking movie instead of actually being a goddamn parent to your kid... Well then, at that point, why the fuck not? Throw in a bunch of this stupid shit. You're not gonna raise your fucking kid. The movie is anyway, so fuck it. Throw it in after that. Real quick, I mean, beyond the stereotypes they do, this movie really relies on, hey, these turkeys are dumb. Secondly, oh, they're animals, so they don't know what things like fences are, and that's through the whole movie. It's like, what is this blah 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 thing? And and half the time it reminded me of uh, Dory from Finding Nemo because it was just like they would be in the middle of a conversation and then one of the sane turkeys would be talking to them and then it would just be like start the conversation over and be like, oh really, where'd you see that? And be like, you just told me that. Uh, so it was just, it was like they took things that were good from other kids' movies and just fucked it up. Badly. This was, it was a poorly executed movie. At least you got a turkey out of it. Yeah, turkey uh, hand out of it. I can't get it! Where'd our turkey hand? I'm fucking done.